Hey guys, I'm Sam. I'm Jody. Welcome back to our channel, Razor Focus. We're so glad that you're back with us. Uh, we're, we've been out for a couple of weeks, so we've not been able to make some content, but we're getting excited about a trip that we have planned to the real McCoy's uh, cabin area for the Hatfield McCoy. So we're getting ready for that. So today we're gonna put on a uh, something we ordered. So let's start getting ready for that. Some of you have suggested something and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's get this razor where we want it. Now, I put this thing on some uh, car dollies. These car dollies are from Harbor Freight. They're awesome. We really, really enjoy them. Especially in a small garage, you can get it exactly where you want it. So we're going to kind of get that position. And then we're going to put our quick jacks under because we need to raise it all the way up so we can work on that front suspension area. He's getting the quick jack out so that he has two so that we can lift the razor easily. These things are awesome. Now these are uh, quick jacks. These are the 5,000. I love these things. I used them in my car racing days. Awesome to lift the vehicle. You're gonna see how cool those are. Now some of you are already asking why am I putting them this way? Well lengthwise it's too long for a car and you can Go either way as long as they're parallel to one another. So we're going to set those up and lift this thing off the ground. One other thing I love about these quick jacks is they're hydraulic. So, you know, it just uses transmission fluid in the quick jack unit. I've had these for a bit. And this is one of those investments that I wanted for years and I never did it, just talked myself out of it. And once I did it, I thought, why did I not do that before? They're the leak proof uh, fittings, connector hose to it. And once the, it's up on quick jacks with the safety bars, it can stay there indefinitely. And all you do is connect it to the power unit. And we've had this for several years. I need to kind of do a little bit of maintenance on it, clean it up a little bit. Sometimes they get a little stiff. On this end, but it's just a press fit. Sometimes you gotta hit the down button as you do it, and it pops right in. This thing has saved you so many times working on brakes or changing tires to help church members out. Yes, we've kind of done like a little car care ministry for church members, uh, for those that need a little extra help, and these have been amazing, whether it be oil changes, little brake jobs, little easy stuff, but they're very, very safe. I've used the old school, you know, jack stands, and you'll see it didn't take long to set them up, and we'll be able to get these things going real quick. I'm going to use my uh, extenders here so I can put this exactly where I want to, and I think I'm going to put it on the rock slider, and they're kind of just setting a little cubby there. We'll kind of get it lined up. To one end and then we'll go to the other side so the in extender ensures a, a careful contact to what the metal frame that you want to for the height because okay. this is obviously off the ground with a dolly so it's just adding extra height to all that's doing okay cool so now we'll do it on this side and then we'll go around and check and make sure everything's under a good contact patch and that's really all there is to it now it will shift a little bit as it parallelograms up, so we're going to take a look at that. Let's just see how this goes. If Jody, if you want to kind of go down low, you'll see how they function. So see, we're just kind of lining up. I want to be on the slider itself. The frame's kind of narrow, so I'm just going to use the rock slider. We're just going to check this in, make sure we get good contact where we want to be. I see the scrape now that we did on one of our first trips. I'm going to get adjusted on this side. I have a little more adjustment on the other side. Yeah, there's that good dent. <laughs> and uh, again, though, that's what these are for. We skidded right across that, and hey, I'd rather do something that's made for it versus tearing up all the plastic. Yeah. The plastics are more expensive than replacing the rock guards. 
So let's take a look here. You ready? Yep. Just a bit, just this one. Let's put it. Other side. Again, I'm just being really nitpicky. I'll make sure I'm right with good contact. That looks good. Can you hear that safety last clicking? I'm going to go all the way up. That way you guys can see how high it goes. It's amazing how high it had to go to get the wheels off the things because of the shocks. And then it automatically locks in. So this thing is safe. This point is very safe. You're up to 5,000 pounds. If you check out the test online, you'll see it put like 14,000 pounds in these exact ones. So I really love these things. Like I said, if you've been debating on something to invest in your garage, man, those are well worth it. Because so they'll, the, the they'll lift the razor all the way up to a truck. They'll lift my truck up to 5,000 pounds, no problem. I have a Chevy Colorado, lifts it, no problem. It's the diesel version, picks up no issue. We've done a suburban with it before. I was probably pushing the limits, but done an expedition. They work great. So let's uh, get to what we're doing next. Hey guys, we're here with another package from Super ATV. Again, we're not endorsed by anyone or sponsored, but we sure do like their products. And we wanted to get something that was recommended by some of our viewers because as we were rock crawling and traveling up there, we realized there were some potential breakage points. And so we wanted to get a frame stiffener. So we bought this. everybody nervous cutting with my left hand makes me nervous just you having a knife oh but i'm good with the knife. what did i do <laughs> oh this is nice that is really heavy duty heavy gauge steel is it steel yep all steel powder coated looks like looks like it and that's a frame stiffener that will go uh in this area now again i, I thank you for the recommendations We've done a little bit of rock crawling and some of y'all have mentioned these tabs and these tabs i'm at the front here these tabs can easily get broken off if you hit just right with the rock and we don't want to do that so we're going to put a frame stiffener up front it's really the only area that is not like super protected if you look at it, everything else has a skid plate but that area does not so uh we already uh, hit that a couple of times down the trail ours doesn't have the clearance that others do so we're just going to put some reinforcement on there just to be safe. Again, we're ready, getting ready for a trip to Virginia, and uh, we want to be self-sufficient. If you look here, we installed our winch. If you remember, we have our half winch hill. We have our uh, storage in the back. We've got a jack we'll be putting on soon. And, and, a spare tire. and a spare tire finally coming in from what I understand. So we're excited about getting all this stuff on. So let's put it on. Okay guys, so uh, here we are under the razor. And again, why I love the quick jacks, you can see all the room there is to work here. Now we're not gonna take the tires off, um, unless I absolutely have to, but these are the bolts you wanna take off. It's just one long bolt. I always like to start with the hardest one first, which will be the back. <laughs> you can see, I'm gonna test Jerry to get out of the way for a second. Okay. Okay, so at this point, we have all the uh, nuts off. So now we want to, the differential drain is here. And so we just want to keep all this part safe. And you can see some uh, scratch marks. Hand me that camera there. You can see some gouge marks here. And so this part is just a piece of metal. There's uh, skid plates all the way back, but this part really is not. You know, it is, it uh, looks like, you know, 3 16 inch steel. This is all part of the frame, so we don't want to damage that at all. So replacing that would not be fun. No. Okay, so again, we're starting at the back, the hard one. And 
See if we can take out those bolts. But we just want to kind of use a little, instead of beating them out, use your ratchet to let them thread out. Now they're not threaded, but they're just under friction, so that thread kind of helps. Mm -hmm. You see the tire's not coming off or anything, so. Well, and that one just pulled out. I like to be cautious. Yep, we should always be cautious. And one thing, again, we always say is be safe. Uh, you know, wear glasses. I've had stuff drilled out of my eyes. It's horrible. So wear something, <laughs> even with safety glasses, things like that have happened. So now everything's off. We have everything on. We have uh, jacks under the tires just to keep it from tilting so we're not having to realign everything. So now we're going to work on that skid plate, putting it up for a frame stiffener. Hey guys, so one of the things that you'll find out about Jody and I is we're just real people serving a real God in a real world. And part of that real people stuff is sometimes YouTube videos make things look super easy for everyone and they kind of cut out the hard stuff. So just this little five minute job, uh, I had to pull out the big tools to get the bolts off because they're super tight. And then the way this is designed, this little skid up here is with the factory uh, brush guard, it wouldn't fit. So I had to remove the lower bolts, loosen the top, so I get a little bit of a wiggle, so I can uh, fit that under it, and then I'll have to retighten those bolts. So, a little hiccup. You know, one thing Joe and I have learned is to try to roll with the punches. We get frustrated just like you do. So, if you do, just stop for a second, get your bearings lined up, and rethink it. So, the good thing about doing all this yourself is you're learning about your machine. And of course, spending time together, which is the best part. So let's get back under here, and we're going to realign everything. This little, this one came out just a bit. I may have to hit that, just because of course one, one came out. The hammer behind you, baby. There we go. I think I'll be able to do it there. Good. Okay, so let's try that again, Jody. And one thing also, uh, the new ones did not come with washers, so I used the factory washers. So, and also it's a different size. So let's see what size that one is. Okay, and uh, so it comes with new bolts, new hardware. We moved the washer over from the factory one. Now the factory was 15 all the way around. This bolt is 13, and the nut is 15. So, don't know why they're not the same, but that's okay. So let's get into putting this thing in. And you'll see how, again, beneficial it is. And again, we had to move out the front bumper. And it just kind of pops in. You still have access to all your important stuff, which is very important. I'm sorry, my fat head rolling around there. It's fine. I married that fat head. I love it. <laughs> so let's see if I can get this lined up using my knee. There we go. And that just pops right in. It's hard just like that. that side. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Okay. Just to kind of keep things lined up. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Did I can't. It come out? No, I just got to get my eyes to see. Oh, yeah. Eye doctor. Yeah, so that's the bad news this week. I had to go to the eye doctor and it looks like I'm getting bifocals. So I know, uh, yay, yay. <laughs> something people don't say, but hey, it's either that or wear readers all the time. So, <clears throat> and again, so what we're, we're doing all this uh, from some of your advice, guys, we've not, uh, this is all kind of new to us. We're learning. We're excited for the things that you guys have taught us and uh, I'm just putting these in to keep somewhat aligned and then we'll tighten them on then we'll get them on there okay so let's see if I can use my handy dandy ratchet to get those started see if they line up let's hope so well I'm gonna have to wiggle around back here so I can see where it's at sorry about that Light in your face. It's 
good. There we go. Okay, so that one's in. Now I need, Do you need the nut. I'm going to put the nut on the back. I'm not going to tighten anything yet. Just hand tied it for a second. Just hand tied it so we don't lose anything. And again, you can see how those quick jacks are maybe using jack stands, but this whole front end needs to be off the ground to do this. Not only do they work, but they make you feel safer because we've used jack stands for years. And of course they do the job, but they're not quite as secure as these quick jacks are. And so close on that one. I don't think it's aligned because it's just spinning. It's not. I need to get that out just a bit somehow. Here you go. It's going in. Okay, no, it's not. It's just spinning. Okay. Let's see if I can get this back side in. Okay, that one's in. It's just this one. A little up on the back. Yep, so I'm just trying to get the easy ones first and then I'll go further. Work on that one. So now let's see if I can get this one here. So one of them is just going to be off kilter. And let's see if I can get a line under there. What do you need, baby? Just my little hammer. You're on it. No. Just not with me here, and again, see, not everything's easy. Now again, tools are an investment. You know, Miss Jody and I, we've always learned that, hey, buy the good tools, you'll learn what to do. Even if you make a few mistakes along the way, you'll uh, know what to do, and especially if you're out in the field and you have to do something, you'll at least know about it. And good tools are an investment. I've not had Snap-on until recently, and I really, really like them. But again, you know what? I have Harbor Freight too, and I have some Harbor Freight and Cobalt, and so I'm not a, a Snap-on snob per se, but I do like Snap-on. They really are good tools. This is one of my favorite tools. It's a little toggle switch with a little impact gun. And I'm going to tighten and torque them by, by hand. I just like to get it in there. I don't want to over tighten it, so I'm going to do that by hand. Same on the back, yep. It's just hard to see in the back, so I'm just showing the front, really. One thing I like about the snap-on tools, too, is uh, this toggle is speed sensitive. So as you slowly, you know, so that's kind of neat. So I think I'm going to do this next part by hand, but I just want to double check everything to make sure I got it seated at least. Like this back one is not seated. This was the one that was the most difficult one. Let's see if I can. Yeah, and actually, if you look, you can see that I have a Harbor Freight Impact uh, Universal Joint. So again, I'm not a good tools are good tools. Okay, so now I'm going to do these by hand. Just 
because they didn't give torque specs on it. No, there were not torque specs on it, but they were super tight. We had to pull out the big gun, so oh, and of course I got to get the other 13 millimeter. So bear with the back. And again, these are super tight. So I'm gonna go really hand tight. There were no torque specs on them. Now these are the nylon lock washers, lock nuts, excuse me. There we go. So it should hold just fine. Oh, it should hold just fine. But again, they shouldn't back out. But since they were pretty snug, I wanna leave them that way. Do you wanna machine tighten them at all or no? No, because I don't know how socket on just to give yourself a little bit of extra clearance for your knuckles <laughs> for your knuckles and again you know we thank each one of you for your advice <clears throat> this will make perfect sense especially looking at uh, there's no protection really in this section other than 3 16 inch plate which is welded to the frame so some things it's just nice to have a sacrificial piece. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you from underneath, from upside down here to the front, is this, this big plate right here. And you can see it just uh, adds another layer of protection. Yeah, it may get caught on something here, but normally we're going that direction. So uh, I really like it. Stiffen that frame up, gives it some protection to these tabs here. Should be a good thing. So it's the stiffener that had that angle that wouldn't fit under without loosening. Yeah, that little angle there. You know, again, that, this is a factory bumper, but you know, it's hard to keep up with all the aftermarket stuff. Gotta hold my tongue just right so I can get this nut on here. There we go. Gotta finesse it. Now we'll put our handy dandy. Oh, is it a snap-on? You know, again, snap-on, snap-on, Harbor Freight. <laughs> so, again, you know, this didn't happen overnight, me getting snap-on, just slowly as I needed something, slowly get it. I really do like snap-on products. There is a big difference on uh, quality on some things. But again, like I said, I'm not a snap-on snob. We've used, we've used everything. Oh, so like, uh, for example, you should not hit reverse when you're trying to tighten something. Doesn't matter what, what kind of tool you have. <laughs> you <gotta be> sharp, <laughs> Operator sharper error. than the tool. Hands that don't work the way they used to. All right, and you know what I know? This little cable's dangling. I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie on there. Okay. While we're working on that. Now this didn't hinder the use of this Nope, that's the winch, and we're going to go ahead and put on our fab connector here in a minute. Alright guys, so just something I noticed while I had the front grill cover off is I didn't zip tie this when I installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this little wire so it's just not dangling. I'm so surprised. You tighten up everything. And just to keep things out of the way. Now, some of you have mentioned... Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see it at your angle, Jody, but if you go straight on, some of you have said, hey, there's, looks like there's crud in the radiator. And when we first got it, we went through some water and it kind of made like a stain, but it's rinsed and you can go through it. I don't know how you get that stain off. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Uh, so any recommendations on how to remove that stain uh, from the mud swamp that we went through the first time, that would be a great recommendation. Yeah, we didn't realize it was as deep as it was and we got in and got to get out. And it was deep, so. All right, so let's go put the grill back on. That's the easy part. I, I love how that is very It's easy very nice. Out. Just pop in and you're, that's it. Good to go. In. So now time to get it off the quick jacks and we're ready for our, our spare tire when it comes in. Woohoo! Nice job, babe. Good job. Hey guys, it's time to lower our sweet little razor. 
so that we can get it back on the ground. But again, the quick jacks make this so easy and the dollies that we have under the wheels make it amazingly easy to move. One person, even a small person, can move the car or the razor. Harbor Freight dollies, worth uh, every penny of those as well? Yeah. We may have to position the dollies a little different. Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly where they were, honey. Well, we just kind of moved the front and the back. Still should be good. Yeah. It's just because it tilts a little as it goes down. That is beautiful. That's good. Again, car suspension or toy suspension impresses me. All right, there you go. Just easy as that. Easy as that. Now I like to leave it down for a little bit to get everything circulated so the hoses come off easy. Get some of the pressure relief, does it? Yeah, just pressure relief. And that's it. Yay. I so will put those away. And again, worth a little bit of extra time that it takes to pull these out. You see we have them stored on the wall. They work uh, great. Okay, guys, let me show you how easy this is on these dollies. Joey and I are going to push it back where we want it. You're good yeah, muscles. To... Sometimes muscles does way too much. Too fast. Okay, guys. Again, I'm Sam. And I'm Jody. We're so glad that you joined us for the frame stiffener. Uh, a little more challenging than it should have been, but uh, only took a few moments. So with the two of us, we can do it. Anything's possible. Remember to have a blessed every day. Stay razor focused.